Hey, in this video, we're going to go over one of the coolest things about Builder, our built-in patterns system. So the simplest way to think about a pattern is a template, but not just a template to say, hey, I want to have a set of elements that looks like this, which is what our blocks are. A pattern is actually a template that is oftentimes a sequence of pages that work together to give you a certain ability inside of your project. One common term for other applications is components. And so our pattern system is a way for you to bring in functionality as we build new patterns for you to use, or as other members of the community build patterns for the community to use. You're able to bring those into your applications that you're already working on to add functionality without having to build everything yourself every single time. So to import a pattern, all you have to do in any project inside of Builder is go to insert and then hit import pattern. You'll see a list of a variety of patterns that we already have pre-built. Our most commonly used pattern that we see is our user authentication. And so in Builder, because people are using Builder to create really complex applications, user authentication is one of the things they really need. Whether they're using Builder's built-in tables or a user set from somewhere else, the user authentication pattern already has all of this built in, pre-style so that you know out of the box, it looks good, it performs well, and it's gonna work without you having to change much about it. So you can see I've brought in our user auth pattern here. I've got a couple pages and then I've got a couple of components that load into these pages. And these components are the actual functionality. They're not just the, the pages and design themselves. It's when someone signs up and they use a the wrong password, it's the alert saying, hey, here's, you use the wrong password or there was an error on login or that email is already in use. You can't sign up with it again. All of the flows built around that logic are built right in, including the ability to use a password or authenticate using a magic link that gets sent to their email. Another really cool thing that you'll find in Builder is the ability to use pages, not just for pages that you're actually gonna use inside of your applications, but also as someone to take notes or share notes with your collaborators in your project. And so in this template, we've included a page that gives you a video overview explaining this pattern and how it works as well as some quick, simple steps to set up SendGrid, an email service provider, so that when you want to send those magic emails or reset password emails, you've got them pre-built in and set up inside of Builder. So you can go from having no authentication to full authentication with email alerts in a matter of minutes. Maybe the best part about patterns is you're not just limited to what the Builder team has built. You're not just limited to what someone else has built. You can create your own patterns at any moment. So maybe you're an agency that you create a lot of patterns for your customers and you want to be able to reuse them across your projects. Or maybe you're an indie developer. You've got a very specific way of doing things and you want to reuse your pricing pages. You want to reuse your home pages, your menus that are mobile optimized without having to rebuild them every time. Inside of Builder, at any moment in time, you can create a pattern out of an entire workspace. So all you have to do is go to your workspace menu, click Create Pattern, and then you can name it and publish it. And at that point, that means you're going to be able to start a new project from that pattern. That means you're going to be able to import that pattern to an existing project. Or you're even going to have a code to share that pattern with someone else if you want them to be able to use it as well. And again, these patterns aren't just a page or even a series of pages. It's the logic about how they interact and all of the information they need. Your patterns even include the data collections that power it. So if you've created something that needs a certain data collection in Builder to make sure it works correctly, you'll have those data collections added to that new project as soon as they import that pattern. So really a pattern is this fully functional piece of technology you're able to basically drag and drop into your applications however you need and then restyle it to make sure it fits your application. 